as Girl Scouts. Trying to make the world a better place is part of the fun. So one day, during our troop meeting, we could do a project about climate change because it's so important. Well, what contributes most to climate change? Are there any big things people haven't heard much about yet? What if we did concrete? Concrete. After doing some research, we learned building materials like concrete are an important part of the climate change issue and even part of the solution. When it comes to solving climate change, we usually think about stuff like solar panels, wind farms, electric cars, or even LED lights. But materials, they're important too because of how they're made. First, there's mining, quarrying, or harvesting, then processing, and don't forget transportation. Each of those steps requires energy, and since most of our energy still comes from fossil fuels, that means CO2 gets released for each step. Added together, those CO2 emissions are the carbon footprint, or the embodied carbon of a material. While all materials have embodied carbon, we're zooming in on concrete because we use more of it than any other material. All those new roads, runways, buildings, bridges, parking structures, and even pipes add up to a whopping 8% of global carbon emissions each year. First, to be clear, the climate change issue with concrete is mostly from the cement. Called Portland cement, this 200-year-old standard recipe is the gluey part that holds it together. Cement releases CO2 during production in two big ways, from the energy needed to cook limestone at a super hot temperature, and from the chemical reactions of the limestone as it turns into clinker, the main part of cement. Since making cement releases so much CO2, scientists and engineers have been working to find greener ways to make concrete. Even small adjustments can have a big impact. If you reduce the embodied carbon of the concrete used for one big new commercial building by just 20%, that would be like taking about 50 cars off the road for an entire year, for just one building. Are you an architect, an engineer, a construction manager, city planner, developer, CEO that needs a new office? or even a homeowner looking to build a new patio, you can help reduce climate change when you choose your materials. We did research and talked to experts for their suggestions. Care! No, really, start with caring. Make greener concrete a priority and make body carbon an issue. Talk about it over your coffee break and start out your meetings with it, even if Climate change isn't an issue for you or your clients. We guarantee it is already a big issue for the next generation. Look at the big picture. Do a life cycle assessment for your building project. Life cycle assessment, or LCA, looks at the environmental impact of all the stages of your building from the materials, building process, operations, and even eventual demolition. As for carbon nutrition facts, the building industry has been rolling out a system of environmental product declarations, or EPDs, for building materials that tell you the global warming potential of that material. Every building material should have these soon to help compare their climate impact. So ask and let producers know you need EPDs to consider their products. Seek out and demand concrete with a lower embodied carbon. Notice how we didn't just say use here. It may take more of an active effort. Maybe 
various concrete mixins called admixtures are special ingredients to reduce the need for cement by making it flow better or use less water. Supplementary cementitious materials, or SCMs, reduce embodied carbon by replacing some Portland cement. Using recycled glass pozzolan or industrial byproducts such as slag, silica fume, and fly ash as mixins also reduces landfill waste. Cement with added limestone. Called Portland limestone cement, cut emissions by 10% by adding some limestone to regular cement. LC3 cement. Knock out about 30% of carbon emissions by using cooked clay in the cement. Geopolymer concrete uses clay, fly ash, slag, or similar materials in special ways and skips Portland cement completely. Then you've got your lock away carbon concrete. Scientists have figured out lots of different ways to lock away or sequester CO2 from industry. From mixing in CO2 while the concrete is being made, to making rocks out of CO2, these new approaches can have way lowering embodied carbon. Some are even carbon negative, meaning they can lock up more carbon than they can give off during production. So many different types of concrete. There are other ways you can reduce concrete's carbon footprint too. Use renewable energy during production, use recycled concrete from demolished structures with aggregate, and design structures to use only as much concrete as they really need. Unfortunately, a lot of concrete made right now doesn't use any of these better approaches yet. Why? Because adopting new ideas takes time, even if they are better all around. Some even cost less. Your demand for greener concrete will make all the difference. Speaking of costs, we know new things can sometimes be a push to get rolling, so this next thing is really important. Support by clean policies. Around the country, states, local governments, and companies are starting to make policies to encourage using lower carbon materials. Legislators, city council members, agency staff, and business leaders, here's where you come in. If you don't have buy clean policies in place, please start making some. Finally, join the movement. Green building is a global movement growing every day. Groups like the U.S. Green Building Council and the Carbon Leadership Forum and initiatives like Architecture 2030 and SE 2050 are all working to make buildings more climate conscious. Every building or structure can be part of the solution. No matter your role with building, we hope you'll be open to change and work to make greener materials a priority for now and for our future. The choices and the policies you make today make it better tomorrow for all of us. Here are some resources to help you learn more and get involved. Thank you for watching!